that the story begins with a boy named Haruto complaining about how he stopped going to school due to bullying and is now living a boring life. Suddenly his phone's screen flashes and he gets transported to a strange place where he stands in front of a goddess. The goddess congratulates him as he has been selected for reincarnation after he died in his bedroom. She informs Haruto that he will be reincarnated in another world and she will grant him great magical powers. The scene shifts to the royal palace where Haruto is reincarnated as a newborn baby. The king and queen are happy to see him and they are very excited to see the royal symbol on his chest. They try to test his magical abilities using an orb but unfortunately his magical level is only two. He can't use any element except barrier magic which makes his parents even more disappointed. The king and the queen decide to dispose of Haruto in a forest, telling everyone that the prince died as soon as he was born, making Haruto pity his bad luck once again. The goddess who reincarnated Haruto watches this whole scene and remembers that she forgot to grant Haruto an element and she gave him 1002 power, but unfortunately, this power is too much for the orbs to detect. In the forest, Haruto tries to move his body but can't, as he is a newborn, he remembers his parents talking about the magic barrier, so he uses his magic to create different barriers. As he is busy discovering his magical abilities, suddenly, a wolf attacks him, but Haruto protects himself by forming a barrier around him. Haruto then attacks the wolf by using his barriers to throw different objects at the wolf, thus resulting in its surrender. This shocks Haruto as he didn't expect a wolf to talk. Haruto uses his magical barrier to help him communicate with the wolf and introduces himself as Prince Haruto. He also tells him how he ended up here, to which the wolf gets shocked, saying that his magical powers are much higher than any human's. The wolf asks Haruto if he is the reincarnation of the Demon King, to which Haruto plays along and replies in affirmative. He forgives the wolf, who is very ashamed of his actions, and also names the wolf as Flay, who instantly pledges his loyalty to Haruto. Suddenly, Haruto falls down due to weakness, and Flay turns into a woman to feed him. But unfortunately, this plan doesn't work. Torin tames a Fulperch. A man named Gold Zenfes arrives there and introduces himself as a relative of the king. He tells them that he is here to save Haruto, and he has also brought some milk. Flay makes a deal with the man that if Haruto goes to his home, he must also allow her to be with him as his personal attendant. The trio then leaves after staging the scene as if Haruto has been killed. Nine years have passed since Haruto started living with the Gold family. Haruto enjoys his new life here but complains that his little sister Charlotte doesn't like him, but she loves Flay's company. Later, when he sees Charlotte playing with Flay in the garden, he becomes sad. Their mother, Natalia, arrives and advises Haruto to spend more time with Charlotte if he wants her to get along with him. Haruto plans to leave his new home, but if he leaves, Flay will also come after him, but he doesn't want to make Charlotte sad, so he creates a clone which he plans to replace after he leaves. Later, his father calls Haruto to practice swordsmanship, and Haruto reveals that Gold is a seasoned warrior whose level is much higher than his. As they begin to practice, Gold is shocked to see Haruto's fighting abilities with no prior experience. Humans can only reach level 77, and he wonders if Haruto's level is more than that. Afterward, Gold confides to Natalia that he thinks Haruto is a reincarnated demon. They also wonder why a demon is so loyal to him, but Natalia doesn't believe him, and they end the discussion saying that he is their son and that's all that matters. Charlotte hears this whole conversation and wonders if her brother is a demon. Later, Haruto hears some noise and discovers many injured soldiers outside. His father tells him that many thieves have been attacking their province lately, and they learned about their base and went there. However, they attacked their soldiers from behind and the situation escalated. A Flay passes a comment pointing toward the king and his soldiers' incompetency and Haruto orders her to shut her mouth. He then leaves with her and secretly heals the soldiers' wounds as he passes by them. The soldiers express their happiness and Gold is unable to understand what just happened. Turion at Karuto learns about the thieves' location and flies with Flay to their fort while Charlotte notices them leaving.
Upon reaching, Haruto attacks the thieves and orders them to reveal the reason behind attacking their province. Scared, the culprits reveal that they are soldiers from the neighboring province and were ordered to cause internal chaos there. Flay expresses her confusion as it is impossible for foreigners to enter their kingdom, as there are many guards at the border, prompting Haruto to think that there must be a helper of these thieves from their own kingdom. After gaining useful information, Haruto orders Flay to burn the fort and leave. Haruto sends his father an anonymous letter to inform him about the current situation with the soldiers who attacked their province. After some time, Gold's attendant reads the letter informing him about the soldiers from the neighboring province and an unknown person who burnt their fort. As the attendant leaves, Charlotte asks her dad about the identity of their savior, and he thinks that it must have been Flay. Charlotte later asks Flay if there are two Harutos, as last night she saw Flay and Haruto flying in the sky, but she also found Haruto sleeping in his bed. The strange thing is, she couldn't sense any scary vibes from him. Flay reveals that the scary vibe she gets from Haruto is because of his magical power that surpasses any demon and human strength. Charlotte asks her what Haruto is, but Flay advises her not to get herself involved in these matters. When Flay informs Haruto about her conversation with Charlotte, he places surveillance barriers with an alarm on Charlotte that inform him about Charlotte's whereabouts. For the next many days, Charlotte keeps spying on Haruto, but Haruto doesn't call her out so she may not get scared. One day, Gold informs Haruto that his mother and sister will be leaving for a trip to a festival and Haruto suggests they take Flay with them for their safety. However, he remembers that he has sent Flay to fight the evil monsters who might try to harm the kingdom. Nonetheless, they leave without Flay and later, Haruto senses some danger around his mother and sister through the surveillance barriers he had placed on Charlotte. Meanwhile, Natalia and Charlotte are attacked by some Imperial soldiers and Natalia tries to fight them with her magic. Fortunately, Haruto speaks to Charlotte and guides them about the directions to run, and she tells her mother to follow her. Through Charlotte's guidelines, they eventually reach a cave and Natalia asks her daughter to stay there while she finds the Hero of Justice, who guided them here. Outside, she gets outnumbered and is about to take her own life, but Haruto arrives just in time, saving his mother and attacking all the thieves. He then leaves Natalia in the cave, telling Charlotte to take care of her while he fights with the soldiers. Charlotte, still hiding, senses the scary aura and realizes it's Haruto. She comes forward and calls Haruto the hero of justice and expresses that she had always been wrong about him. Haruto is confused during his first interaction with his sister. He asks her to keep it a secret that he saved them and then leaves to end the danger. Later, Gold's attendant informs him that Natalia and Charlotte are safe and Flay is on her way to join them. After some time, the trio arrives, prompting Gold to hug his wife and daughter. Charlotte then leaves her father and rushes to hug Haruto, surprising everyone. Subsequently, Charlotte starts spending more time with Haruto. And one day when she comes to his room, she sees a screen that helps Haruto watch her, so she asks him about it. Haruto tells her it's not important as it relates to ancient magic, which is outdated now. However, Charlotte contradicts this, telling him that there is a library here with several books related to ancient magic, and she would like him to join her there. As they arrive at the library, Charlotte brings some books related to ancient magic and asks Haruto to read them. He discovers from the books that ancient magic used to be non-elemental in nature, which makes his powers similar to ancient magic. He then reads her the books, and as he reads, he exclaims that whatever is written in this book about heroes, he has watched it in anime. Charlotte is amazed by the idea of anime, so she requests Haruto to show her what it is, and Haruto accepts because he wants to watch anime too. After two weeks of constant struggle, Haruto finally manages to access the modern Japanese internet and forms a device where Charlotte can watch anime. She picks an anime and quickly falls in love with it. However, she tells Haruto she doesn't understand Japanese and he helps by showing her some videos from which she learns the basic alphabet. Haruto discovers that Charlotte is picking up things quickly and just in two weeks she has mastered the language. 
he realizes that his sister is a genius, so she shouldn't be investing all her energy and time in watching anime, and he orders her not to watch TV for more than three hours. After that, they join their parents for dinner, and Charlotte sleeps on the chair as she is too tired. Gold asks Haruto about Charlotte's current condition. Charlotte panics, telling her father that she is tired because she was studying ancient magic with her brother. After dinner, Haruto orders Charlotte to take a bath, irritating her. Later, when he goes to take a bath, Charlotte joins him, and he also doesn't mind it as both of them are kids. Charlotte asks him about the magic insignia on his chest, and he says it's a sign of being the hero of justice. The next day, Gold leaves to kill all the thieves, and Charlotte asks Haruto to help their father as he is the hero of justice. To make her sister happy, Haruto transforms into an anime hero, exciting Charlotte, who requests to join him on his mission. However, Haruto doesn't allow this and tells her to watch him fighting the evildoers through the magic screen. He then confronts the soldiers, defeating them all. When Gold arrives there, he can't recognize Haruto as he has disguised himself with a hero costume. Upon asking, Haruto tells Gold that he is the hero of justice, and that's why he helped him. After that, he reaches home where Charlotte welcomes him. Charlotte really enjoys seeing her brother fighting, so she asks him to do this frequently, and Haruto accepts her request by fighting with many other bad men. But soon, Haruto's clone gets ready and starts speaking, making Haruto happy. But when Charlotte sees two Harutos, she gets confused. Just then, Gold calls Haruto downstairs and Haruto asks his clone to replace him. However, he denies accepting his order, making Haruto realize his clone is just as lazy as him. As he goes downstairs, he discovers that Princess Marianne and Prince Laius have arrived and Gold welcomes them. Louis behaves rudely despite Marianne scolding him to keep quiet. However, he looks at Haruto staring at him, and he challenges Haruto to a duel to teach him some manners. Before the fight, Haruto checks Laius' magic level, which is only nine. The match begins with Haruto defeating Laius in seconds. Louis even attacks him with fireballs, but Haruto absorbs them and is about to throw fireballs back at him. Scared, Laius surrenders and Marianne apologizes to Haruto for her brother's behavior. She asks him if he is really level 2, and he admits before going to his room. During his next mission against some thieves, Flay joins him, but he prohibits her from using extreme violence as Charlotte will also be seeing them. However, during the fight, Flay forgets this and attacks her rivals using fire. But Haruto stops her and gives the final blow himself. Later, Prince Louis is invited to a banquet and the attendant also tells him that he will have to take Charlotte with him for a trip scheduled for tomorrow as per orders. To the banquet, Charlotte returns with food to Haruto's room and his clone also arrives, who replaced Haruto during the banquet, and he instantly sleeps as he is too tired. Charlotte then informs Haruto that she will be going on a trip tomorrow with Laius and Marianne, but Haruto finds it skeptical, so he decides to join her as well. Two at night, Haruto sees some soldiers summoning something and instantly leaves to check on them. As he arrives there disguised, he introduces himself as Dark Knight and then asks them what they are doing, but in response, the soldiers attack him, prompting him to fight back and defeat them all. Their leader then orders many skeleton soldiers to attack Haruto, but Haruto attacks the skeleton's cores, making them his slaves. Now the skeletons attack their own master and other soldiers. This causes the leader to send a giant golem to fight against Haruto. But Haruto makes him his slave as well and swiftly takes the lead over all soldiers and their leader. He then ties up their leader and asks him why he is here, to which he remains silent. But Haruto orders the skeleton soldiers to dig a pit and bury the soldiers alive. This scares their leader, and he finally reveals that his group was sent by Queen Consort, Haruto's biological mother. Their group is here to assassinate Charlotte, as her magical aptitude will surpass the Queen Consort someday, and the kingdoms will be divided into two. Haruto shows his determination to kill anyone who tries to harm his family, even if it's his own mother. The next day, Haruto and Charlotte join Laois and Marianne for a field trip. While Charlotte enjoys her time, Haruto talks to his dad, expressing his doubt that maybe Queen Consort is after Charlotte. In response, Gold admits that he is Queen's enemy, but he doesn't expect that she might be planning to kill Charlotte. 
he received a letter from Dark Knight again in which he had written that he had defeated many of the soldiers sent by Queen Consort. Gold also informs him that many powers want to take over the entire kingdom. But the Queen's supremacy defeats them all. Before Hiroto's birth, an army was created to kill the Demon King, and in that army was Gizotl, the current queen who defeated the Demon King and then married the king. Gold tells him that a person who is even stronger than the queen can replace her. He then expresses his firm belief in Charlotte, who can replace the queen once she grows up. Haruto realizes that he must protect Charlotte until she grows up and surpasses the queen's strength. Later, Flay offers to behead the queen herself, but Haruto stops her as he himself wants to kill that lady. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.